Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending March 19th. This is my hands-on experiment TDD report, which I will get to in just a minute. But before that, I want to do a shout-out to my good friend Patrick Orvis, and I'm going to read his post here. So proud of my research partner and I. We both received rewards from the Office of Undergraduate Research to present our project at the Cognitive Neuroscience Society Conference in New York. Sometimes the most incredible things happen to you when you least expect it. This is the happiest I've been in such a long time. Congratulations, Patrick Orvis and your partner. Uh, anybody that has any kind of science awards or anything like that that they're aware of, if you're even if your kid has gotten an award in a science fair or something like that, anything that promotes science, I will happily announce and promote. So congratulations again to Patrick. And now on to my experiment. Okay, we're going to try this again. I lost power before I started my experiment. This is the perfect eggs, at least the perfect soft-boiled egg, according to the cook Kenji using the scientific method. So I'm going to kind of follow his method. I let the eggs sit out a little while to come up to uh, closer to room temperature because you're not supposed to take them right from the refrigerator. I soaked them in a bowl for about an hour so that they're not going to be super cold and get shocked. So now it's a matter of, they said to put it in a large pan with a large amount of water so that you didn't change the temperature by dropping the eggs in. So now it's a matter of just turning the uh, controls on and letting the water come to a boil and then timing it and doing the every 30 seconds after the first 30 second boil dropping a cube of ice in to lower the temperature. So get my timer all set up, get the uh, burner turned on. Okay, if I can do it here, there we go. I'll put it all the way up on high and then I will see you in a few minutes when the water starts boiling. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting pretty close to the boil. I've got my setup here. Got the eggs. Got the timer set for seven minutes. Got a bowl of cool water because when the eggs come out, I'm not going to handle them. I'm going to cool them off just a little bit. Stop the cooking process and that way I'm not going to burn myself trying to peel them. Water temperature we want around 180 degrees. Right now we have about 165, so we'll be there in just a few minutes. And I guess the secret is after 30 seconds dropping the temperature down from 180 to around 170, just below the boiling point. So the first 30 seconds the eggs will be cooking at 180 degrees, and then after that we'll try to keep it, by adding pieces of ice, try to keep it around 170. And then when we reach the 7 minute mark, which is my idea of a perfect boiled egg, We'll see what it looks like. Okay, we're almost there. We're very close. So I brought out the bowl of ice cubes, and I'm going to be dropping some of them in. The water's at about 178 right now, so any minute it's going to come to a boil. And then I will... I may have to set the camera down to do this, but uh, I'm just going to take two of the four eggs in case it doesn't come out good. I've got my idea of how to do it a different way. But first, we're going to do it according to Kenji's method. So... I think right now, I'm trying to hold this so that I don't fog up the lens. Okay, right now I'm seeing bubbling coming to the top, so we're actually at a boil. So here we go with putting the eggs in, and I'm going to use the timers in minutes. So I'm going to actually, there's a clock clear across on the wall there. I'm going to use that for the first 30 seconds as I put the eggs in. And I'm going to try to do them both at the same time and do this one-handed if I can. There goes one egg. There goes two eggs, and then we're going to watch the clock there and see. It's, okay, about 25 more seconds to go. And then what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start adding the ice cubes. Let's see what our temperature is showing here, too. It should be somewhere in the range of 180 or so, 182. Okay, we got about 182 right now for the temperature. And then, what do we got? We're almost there, about five more seconds to go. Okay, and there, here we go. We're going to start taking the ice cubes and throwing them a couple ice cubes at a time, it says, to knock the water temperature down. Let's see what this does. Okay, it still seems to be boiling. I'm also going to actually turn the temperature knob down a little bit more, too, because it doesn't seem to have totally stopped the boil. Let me grab a couple more ice cubes in here. Knock the water. I actually broke one of the eggs, though. You can see there, one of the eggs has a little bit sticking out. So Okay, now we dropped it just below a boil, I think. Yeah, it's not a boil anymore. Let's see if we're down to 170. 
173. We're down to 173, 174. Throw another ice cube in there. Keep it around 170, hopefully. Oops, forgot to put the timer on. That didn't do any good. So I've probably already, let's see from what the time is. I'm just going to make it six minutes because I watched the other clock. So messed up on the time already. Okay, there's one minute. So we're going to do timer. And it's set for seven minutes. So I'm going to have to stop it at six minutes because by not paying attention, they didn't start the timer. So after six minutes, that will be seven minutes. These were in the pan. Let's see, are we still staying? 174.77. We'll keep knocking this down. Put another ice cube in there. Now I heard what they do for the French soft-boiled egg, which is actually the yolk is completely liquid, but the whites are cooked, is they put it in a 140 degree water bath that's kept at that constant temperature and let the egg sit for 45 minutes in that water bath and that supposedly makes it to where the whites are cooked all the way through but you have the total liquid yolk in the middle. Now I don't want it quite that way. I want my yolk to be at least around halfway cooked. And we're still getting pretty high in the temperature here though. Throw another ice cube in here, see if I can keep it down below the boiling. May have to grab some more ice cubes out of the fridge. Okay, Let's see what that's doing. Okay, we're back down to about 173, 174. Hopefully we'll stay that way. I might turn this down. It's at a 6. I might turn it to 5.5. See how that works at keeping the temperature down. This is going to be the TDD report for this week, my hands-on experiment. And I'm going to try to do it once a month if I can come up with an idea to do. I'd like to do a hands-on experiment of some type. It doesn't have to be cooking. It can be lots of different things. Okay, we're at about 170, 172. Looking good, looking good. Might be able to keep it right about now. And we're looking at 2 minutes and 16 seconds to go. Good thing I started with the big clock on the wall or I would have been lost and not kept accurate time. But I think this, this is probably going to be accurate within plus or minus 15 seconds. So if they expected more accuracy than that, I don't know what they were looking for. What is, oh, ice cube fell to the side there. Okay, there we go. We're going to take them out now and put them in the cool water. Put this one first, and this one second. Okay, and then I'll turn the burner off all the way. Okay. Now, this is something I'm not going to be able to do one-handed, so what I will try to do, I don't know if this will give you any kind of view or not, but it shows the plate there. This thing is peeling really well. I'm liking that. Okay. Now let's actually sit it in something so we can take a look at it. I'm just going to kind of shovel the top off here and let's see what the center looks like. Well, by golly, it's not really bad. It's uh, It actually is about half cooked. I mean, a little bit more than I would like. Probably six minutes would have actually worked better, but the yolk is just actually a little bit runny. And let's see this one too. You can see it actually dripped off into the plate, but it's not cooked all the way through. And if you look, the white, let me get it up, get you over the light here. The white is completely cooked. The white is not even the least bit clear or kind of funky looking. Totally, totally cooked white, so. Okay, let's try it with the second one. I'm going to peel it by hand. And yes, I'm not going to waste these. I'm still going to eat these, so. But these did peel really well, too, so they must be a little bit older eggs, so they did peel really well. Come right out. The shells come right off easily. Let's see if I can get this off in one big thing. Well, this one's going to not cooperate with me, I guess, and peel off quite so good. They're going to peel off in two big chunks. So I don't know. Let's see what we get here. Okay, here we go. I think I need to 
this thing to slide out. Okay. Okay, here's what we have. This one actually turned out really good. I'd say about half of the yolk is cooked and about half of the yolk is runny. You can see it's kind of soft, but the white is fully, fully cooked. So I'm really liking this. Let's take it and, uh, yeah, I know that's not very sanitary. I'm sitting on top of the microwave. We're going to take it in the salt shaker, put a little bit of salt on it. And we're just going to yomp it down. Oh, excellent. I will have to say, Kinji does have the correct method, so. Here's looking at the two of them side by side. So maybe, I don't know, maybe this is actually the best way here. Maybe this, maybe the six minute egg is perfect. Maybe I wouldn't undercook it any because definitely none of the, uh, none of the yolk felt like it was overcooked at all and the white was cooked all the way through, so. I guess for the Kenji method, I'm going to have to give him two thumbs up.